my name is Annette, and you might know me on social media as Netters Plays. And today we're all talking about storytelling games. Now, my favorite storytelling game is Above and Below. Now, Above and Below is a worker placement type of game. I really enjoy those type of games. However, in this game, there also is an encounter book. Now, this encounter book is going to make this game come alive in storytelling. So let me show you exactly how that happens and why exactly I love this game. So here you have the whole setup of Above and Below. You have your main reputation board, which is going to keep track of the rounds. There's a total of seven different rounds in the game. You have your reputation track, which you can keep track of your reputation, whether you're gaining or you're losing your reputation. You have different people that you can go ahead and train and acquire them into your village. Every player is going to have a player board, which represents their village. And you have different villagers that will help you do different tasks in the village. You can harvest different resources. You can also build up your village by building either houses or going below the cave into the cave. That is where I'm interested in. I'm interested in these cave cards because that is going to let you explore into the encounter book. This is the storytelling portion of the game. Every player is going to have a village. And in this village, you can see the different types of actions that you can do. For example, you can build any one of these houses in your village. These are all above ground. You easily have to pay the cost in order to build them. However, if you want to build down below in the cave, you need to explore first. If you choose to explore, you have to take two villagers from your village in order to explore in the cave. You take your cave card, you turn it over, you roll a die, and whatever the outcome is, you open up your encounter book and turn to that page. So now you go into the specific paragraph in the book, you read it out loud to everyone, and this is where the story develops. You give certain options to that player, whether they pick choice A or B, Choice A is usually easier, and what you do is you get your specific characters to roll certain dice. These dice will, the outcome of the dice will give you either some lanterns or will give you none, depending on that die roll. If you succeeded in the story, then you get those certain rewards. You don't know what the rewards are until you go forth in the exploration process. If you also succeed, you obtain that cave card, and then eventually in the future, you can also build below. So as you can see in the game of Above and Below, you have this simple worker placement game where you're using your villagers in order to do certain actions. Now the action of exploration also develops the story in the game. However, the story is not pasted on. It's a story that really helps you throughout the game because it rewards you in different things like resources or even points. You also gain that exploration cave card, which will let you build down below in the cave, which will give you again more points. So that's why I really enjoy Above and Below because it makes this regular worker placement game a little bit more thematic and it's also unique and different unlike any other game out there.